Tough, confident, sophisticated, timeless, stylish. You could also just as easily say versatile. The color black is easily the most coveted in the EDC world for all those reasons and more. With that being said, we think it's high time to showcase a selection of our favorite blackout EDC gear to highlight the best of the best in the coveted stealthy color. Before we dive in, as always, this is but a small cross section of all the great blacked out EDC gear on the market. And we are, by no means, saying this is the only selection that you should review. Even though we objectively think these are some of the best picks out there, use this guide as a jumping off point, an eye opener to what the space has to offer. So let's dive right in and take a look at our first pick from Anchor. The color black has a tendency to elevate a seemingly ordinary product, as is the case with this Anchor Nano Power Bank. Power banks, historically speaking, have always been far more utilitarian than fashionable. That is, until companies started integrating different colors, smaller form factors, and sleek modern materials. Anchor here has done the exact same thing, using an all-black colorway for the Nano Power Bank, a 5000 mAh ultra-portable battery pack with an all-black and gray color scheme. At 3 inches in length by 1.4 inches in height and only 1 inch thick, the Nano is highly pocketable and builds in a fast interface using USB-C ports for both input and output here and here. One of our favorite parts is the swinging USB-C output that can tug itself away when not in use, and also the battery status LEDs here on the side that light up when you press this button at the top. Albeit, it's not as handy as other Anchor power banks that show the battery percentage displayed on an LED screen or an OLED screen to be specific, it's still handy nonetheless. Capacity is something a bit hard to understand in milliamp hours if you haven't previously owned and operated a power bank. So to put this into context, this is enough reserve to power the new iPhone 15 about one time over. If that may not seem like a lot of capacity, yes, you're certainly correct. There are others out there that pack in way more. However, what you lose in capacity, you gain in portability. For just under $400, you can get your hands on a camera with a brand lineage that's been used by some of the world's greatest photographers, from magnum legends like Henry Cartier-Bresson to social documentarian Walker Evans. The German-designed Leica Sofort 2 featuring the signature contrasting red Leica logo is the newest generation of their smart camera system, following up the 2017 Leica Sofort 1, which has been since discontinued. The Leicas of old, and we're talking specifically about the fully analog infamous Leica M series, were just that, analog. Load in the film, adjust your shutter speed and aperture based on the stock, and fire away. Now the Sofort 2 allows you to do the same as a digital analog hybrid with their own Leica Instant Mini Film Pack or an Instax Mini Film Pack, but it also allows for digital storage as well onto a micro SD or full backup capability with the Leica Photos app via Bluetooth. For all intents and purposes, this is Leica's contribution to the instant camera arena, like the greats from Fujifilm and Kodak. The Sofort 2 is a bit different from your typical analog instant camera. Its closest competitor in this price bracket is the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo Hybrid, and it's clear Leica took a generous amount of inspiration from both this camera and the previous Sofort 1 to craft the Sofort 2. Other comparable models are the Fujifilm Instax Mini 40, and of course, instant models from Kodak, like the Kodak Mini Shot line or the Kodak Printomatic. We took the camera for a spin, and here are our thoughts. First, the Leica Sofort 2 ships in typical hyper-engineered minimalist Leica form with a sleek all-black polycarbonate frame with glossy front and back panels, a compact 4.8-inch size, a bright 3-inch TFT LCD made of 460,000 dots, a CMOS sensor that produces a 4.9 megapixel JPEG image, a Leica Sumar 2.4mm lens, and a battery life of about 100 instant images with a 2-3 hour recharge time via a USB-C infrastructure. Seeing as the sensor only produces a 5 megapixel image in a standard sRGB color space, the main focus here is definitely on the instant film printing capability, and less so on the quality of the digital files themselves. They're certainly usable for quick social media uploads, but considering the newest iPhone 15 Pro Max is a 48 megapixel sensor, the Leica Sofort 2 definitely doesn't impress if you need resolution and the ability for extensive post-processing. The Sofort 2 doesn't simply print the image immediately after taking the shot. In other words, the instant film capability is more so of a built-in printer for the digital files it captures. Let's go ahead and make a photograph to show you just how. First, you can select the baked-in image effect you liked with the top left aligned toggle or leave it blank. Next, adjust the baked-in optical effect, if you wish, with the lens toggle right here. You can also dive into the menu to adjust exposure compensation, timing, the flash, and white balance. 
Another point to keep in mind is that the focal length is fixed, but there's a digital zoom feature adjustable with the circular toggle surrounding the menu button, but keep in mind that again, the resolution is only at 5 megapixels, and zooming in will significantly decrease the image quality. There are also print settings as well, including a normal or rich mode and a print brightness mode, but we don't have time to fully get into all the examples of each. Then simply take the shot with one of two shutter buttons, either the one on top or the one on the front face, depending if you're using this for a self-portrait or a regular photograph. Then preview the shot in the image gallery and use the manual lever to let them know the camera that you'd like to go ahead and proceed with the print. The Sofort 2 then exposes the film and the image prints out the side with a fun digital animation on the screen, giving you full control over the final printed image, more so than what you would typically get with a fully analog setup. The Sofort 2 builds an internal storage of up to 45 images without a card installed, and expands this range with a micro SD card slot. For example, based on the Sofort 2's 5 megapixel file size, you can store about 850 images per 1GB. We shot on Instax Minifilm, which as of now is far more widely available in stores than the Leica Instant Film Packs, but if you want the real deal, they're selling for just about $30 for 20 sheets. As a comparison, compatible Instax Minifilm can be purchased in the same quantity at big box stores for about half that price. To load in the film pack, use this button on the left hand side, and as an interesting note, the screen swings with it, so be careful when doing so. Install the film pack, making sure it's right side up, shut the screen, and you're ready to go. To close out, let's show you some of the design considerations that make the Sofort 2 one of our favorite instant cameras, blackout colorway aside. Take a look at the top left recess toggle that controls the film effects, the contrasting silver shutter buttons on the top and front plane, the simple print lever, the sheer simplicity of the back panel that uses only four buttons and a circular toggle, and the clean bottom panel with a single quarter 20 thread for a tripod plate. Before our next pick, we need to have a discussion about coatings, because this is something that you're going to come across quite often with all black EDC. Manufacturers often use base materials that are not inherently black to begin with, for example, titanium or stainless steel or aluminum. So then, to render it in black, specific coatings are applied, but not all are created equal. Here are some of the most common you'll run into. The first is PVD. Physical vapor deposition is a process that uses a vacuum to vaporize a solid material and apply it to the surface of an object. It's fairly common, fairly hard wearing, and with proper care can last a long time. However, it's not impervious to scratches and a deep enough one can expose the base material. Next up, DLC. Diamond-like carbon is also a vapor deposition process, but it uses an even more durable blasted carbon composition, giving it the upper hand over PVD. Carbon, the building blocks of diamonds, hence the name, is incredibly durable and it gives the surface of an object far more long-lasting properties than PVD. Third, anodizing. Anodization is a bit different from ion plating as the anodization process actually penetrates the metal instead of simply coating the surface, but it's popular with aluminum and is conventionally harder than both PVD and DLC. And finally, the last one we're going to overview, but certainly not the least, is Cerakote. Cerakote is a ceramic finish that's fairly popular in the gun world as it's corrosion resistant, and with proper care it can last just as long as a PVD finish, but at a significantly lower price point. Of course, these are not all the options on the market, but these are going to be the most popular for EDC. This all being said, our next pick uses a black DLC coating and a premium grade 5 titanium skeleton. The Big Idea Design Bitbar 2 is an 8-part bit driver set with a nifty deployant, a compact design, and a hyper premium build. The rectangular bit bar 2 is 3.9 inches in length by 0.45 inches in thickness and is easily pocketable, especially with the built-in pocket clip. The whole system is extremely well thought through, simple and innovative. To access the bits recessed into the driver's main body, use this button and switch hybrid on the side. Push up and all 8 drivers snap into place. Let go and they fall back into place and are held in with a magnetic base to prevent them from falling out when not intended for use. The bits are your standard inclusions, a number 1 and number 2 Phillips, a quarter inch and 3 16 flathead, a T15 and T20 Torx, and a number 1 and number 2 square bit. There are two driver housing options here and here on the top, as well as a stainless steel extension you can use for tighter spaces. Big Idea Design also provides a premium all black leather sheath for the bit bar itself to keep the blackout experience intact from beginning to end. Even though we're out of the weeds, the past few years have taught us the importance of hygiene. Hand sanitizer is an easy, transportable way to keep your hands clean throughout the day. But maybe you don't want to carry around the branded Purell bottle among your already curated blackout EDC gear. That's understandable, and that's what we're here for. So then pick up Orbit Key's sanitizer holder. 
After, you can buy in bulk and refill the portable container more sustainably and have an all-black, EDC-capable backpack-ready unit to match. The bottle is a 50mm aluminum unit with a matching matte black pump dispenser and a matching black-coated metal carabiner tethered to the bottle with Hypalon and a rubber o-ring. Custom tuned by the team at Teenage Engineering, the all-black Nothing Ear earbuds are stealthy, true wireless units with premium active noise cancellation, 11.6mm drivers, an IPX4 weather rating, graphene diaphragms, and weigh in at a cloud-like 4.7 grams. Since the Ear 1's release, they've followed them up with the Ear 2's, which we'll overview in just a moment, since there have been a few changes to the internals while keeping the transparent all-black colorway and form factor almost identical. Utilizing a transparent housing for a full exhibition view of the electronics at play, nothing truly runs with a moniker. Full transparency. This design choice also echoes through the transparent black charging case for a really cohesive looking set of earbuds to add to your all black everyday carry collection. Keeping minimalism at the forefront, the Nothing Ear 1s and the Ear 2s use white and red color coding dots to delineate left from right so the user can quickly identify and then employ. What's more, the Nothing Ear 1s and the Ear 2s offer full wireless charging with any compatible wireless charging pad eliminating any need for charging cables. While both the 1st Gen 1s and the 2nd Gen 2s have similar appearances and specifications, there are a few upgrades nothing built in. These include an audibly improved microphone to allow your voice to appear more natural during phone calls, multi-device pairing capability, and slightly better active noise cancellation. Now here are the Gen 2 specs. Ultra light at just 0.16 ounces. They pack in powerful 11.6 millimeter custom drivers, feature 24 bit high res audio, use next level active noise cancellation, they allow for personal sound profiles, and maintain up to 36 hours of listening time. Nothing also says the version 2s are built with a stronger, pressure resistant material, although it's virtually impossible to identify any changes to the eye. Other than the all blacked out colorway, of course, there are a few functional characteristics that make the Nothing earbuds a great choice for someone with a busy lifestyle. At the top of this list is rapid charging. After charging for just 5 minutes, Apple AirPods allow for 1 hour give or take of playback, whereas the Nothing Ear 2s have a quick charging time of 15 minutes, 3 times that of the Apple AirPods, but provide a whopping 8 hours of playback. Proportionally, charging the AirPods for the equivalent amount of time, or 15 minutes, would only provide 3 hours of playback. We'll leave you with this. Like the Leica SoFort 2, we could spend an hour walking you through features, what we like, what we dislike, and we hope to do that one day. But for now, head over to Nothing's website and check out the product page which lays out information about Nothing's X app that serves as the ear's command center. Keychain multi-tools are a dime a dozen, but all black keychain multi-tools? Well, that shrinks the candidates. One of our favorite is the ATEC Innovation AirTag Multi-Tool 7-in-1 Pro, as a well-designed, lightweight, minimalist keychain addition that even allows for easy AirTag integration. As the name lays out, the ATEC Innovation Multi-Tool packs in seven useful everyday-oriented tools in a very thin form factor, just 9mm thin or about 0.3 inches. Here's what you get, an AirTag holder, a keychain, a carabiner, a quarter inch hex wrench, a 5.5mm hex wrench, a 12mm hex wrench, a bottle opener, a phone stand, and a bicycle tool. All these in a fully blacked out coated stainless steel form, although ATEC unfortunately does not disclose the coating. If we were to guess based on our observations, we'd say PVD. At the top, the defining feature is certainly the AirTag holder that operates by twisting and taking apart the two-piece ABS frame that secures to the rest of the alloys frame. You simply lay the AirTag in and twist the two parts back together for a snug fit. Backed by a three-year extended warranty with registration, the ATEC Innovation AirTag Multi-Tool 7-in-1 Pro is one of the best blacked out EDC multi-tools out there. Victorinox has cemented a well-worn reputation for their classic, bright red-colored multi-tools and knives. Lately, however, to keep in line with the ebbs and flows of the EDC space, they've included a slew of different colorways for a good number of models. One of our favorites, using an all-black wash even for the metal tools themselves, is the Victorinox Signature Light Onyx. The Signature Light is just that, part of the classic signature collection, so the form will be most familiar to folks who know Victorinox by their classic multi-tool design. However, this time they've opted for a still Healthy head-to-toe monochrome finish for all nine of the tools and the ABS Celador scales on the exterior. Here's what the 2.3 inch multi-tool offers. A lanyard, an LED, a pressurized ballpoint pen, scissors, a keyring, a 2.5 millimeter screwdriver, a ruler in centimeters, a ruler in inches, and a small blade. Fairly standard inclusions for sure, but extremely useful tethered to a keychain, stowed away in a glove compartment, or tucked away inside a backpack for any and all EDC uses. 
Before we move on, an all black full size signature is also available if you'd like something just a bit more hard wearing, so be sure to check that out as well. Craigill is the brainchild of Hunter Craigill, a former trained architect turned product engineer who started his own venture after stints at Levi and Strauss, Best Made Company, and M&U Co. The Craigill collection is easy on the eyes, focused on elevated EDC and homeware, and meticulously crafted, as simple and stripped backed as the pieces are, and they provide one of the best all black EDC pens as a result. The Craigill Caro is a fun, simple keychain pen with a 3.5 inch total length, a garter spring press closure cap that doubles as a keychain loop, and a wavy ergonomic design for jotting notes or extended writing sessions. There are a few different iterations of the Caro pen, one of brass, one of raw brush stainless steel, and this full monochrome version dubbed Vapor Black. Although Craigill doesn't disclose the coating, from the name we'd hazard PVD. The Caro pen is refillable and takes Schmidt 365s, and a pack of five can be purchased at the current price of about $5 to $8 online. Quite similar to the tactile turn bolt action pen, one of our favorite build characteristics is the precision of the machining. In other words, take a look at the threaded cap housing the cartridge opposite the end cap at the pen's tip. The line is virtually indiscernible once fully tightened. This level of attention and care is Craig Hill's signature, so we'd strongly recommend checking out the rest of their catalog for other all blacked out options since there are a few. We're here to bring you some of the best blackout EDC gear around, but another huge factor is function. There are virtually endless all black keychain options, but not all check the function box as much as we'd like them to for different reasons. Poor user experience, beautiful to look at but poor build quality, etc. However, one that checks all the boxes is the Belroy key case with an elevated all black leather silhouette and a hyper functional and satisfying flipper tab mechanism to deploy up to five keys at a time. From the front, the key case's shape almost looks like your traditional electronic key fob with a tapered rectangular form, and now that we think of it, the flip tab deployment system is quite similar to the push button system on a key fob that deploys a physical emergency key. While the outside is Belroy's signature premium feeling eco tan leather, it wraps around an internal PC frame, which then houses the stainless steel flip tab. All right, here's how it fits all together. Use this red dotted tab to unscrew the pin. Once it's out, install up to five keys at a time, making sure to keep the ends of the keys in front of the bottom part of the flip tab, and then screw the threaded pin back in. Once tightened, then you can just pop the tab and your keys are instantly accessible. And if you do have a key fob or any other keychain accessory, Belroy adds in a detachable cord loop at the bottom. We've covered a lot of what you could aptly classify as minimalistic all black EDC so far, give or take a pick or two. If however, a tougher, more tactical vibe is your purview, we're going to take a look at the Dango M1 Maverick Rail Wallet Special Ops. Industrial may be better than tactical if you want to mince words, but we only say tactical because Dango products are favorite among law enforcement and members of the armed forces, due to their durable and stealthy full metal MO. The Jet Black M1 Maverick Rail Wallet uses a CNC machined aerospace grade 6061 Cerakoted aluminum that will be extremely hard wearing in terms of preserving the blacked out appearance of the wallet. Capacity is rated at 8 to 10 cards, although you do have to get a bit creative about how you do so. We found you can fit 3 here between the front plate and the multi-tool, 5 to 6 here in front of the front plate behind the silicone band, and then another 1 to 2 in the back slide pocket. It's a tough fit, so comfortably we'd say more like 8 than 10. There's also a multi-tool added in the back that slides out like so and includes the following tools. A seatbelt cutter with serrated and sharpened edges, a chisel, two paracord tensioners, an O2 oxygen wrench, nail prior, standard quarter inch hex wrench, and of course, a bottle opener. On the back side, built with an exposed cavity, is a DTEC slip pocket perfect for an ID or a driver's license. When talking about blackout EDC, few brands have used the color more extensively than San Francisco based Air, who has built their entire catalog with this single color. Okay, with notable exceptions of late, but sleek, Hyper-built black bags, backpacks, and slings are their trademark. Today, we're going to highlight the Air Day Sling 3 X-Pack, a waterproof or weatherproof daily driver fashioned from stealthy VX42 X-Pack and protective YKK AquaGuard zippers, and a purpose-built interior to keep smaller EDC organized and protected. This is a 3-liter crossbody sling with an 11.5-inch length, a 6-inch height, and a 3-inch depth when packed, and expands slightly the more you load it out. From the outside, there are two visible compartments protected by those AquaGuard zip tracks from the front, but before we overview the inside, on the back side of the pack is another recessed and protected zip pocket for important documents, more of a quick access pocket that stays close to the body and could also be helpful if you're worried about theft in regards to the outward-facing tracks. Now, while we are overviewing blackout EDC gear for all intents and purposes, the Air Day Sling 3 X-Pack fits the bill, if you're not counting the high-vis orange interior. 
Last, but certainly not least, is an all-black adjustable crossbody strap with a premium fidlock magnetic fastener. Let's begin with the front pocket first, featuring a simple built-in key leash where we tethered a ring of keys and a keychain sized pen. And it has enough room to store a bottle of hand sanitizer and more should you choose to do so, though there's really not a ton of room compared to the main pocket that we'll get to in just a second. On the 180, in the backmost pocket, the one that would hug the body closest, we stored away a wallet as it's a great place for anything sensitive and perhaps theft prone. Last is the main compartment, and it uses a lattice of stretch pockets, zip pockets, and sleeves to organize EDC. Here's what we stowed away. A pair of sunglasses, earbuds, and a power bank, a compact flashlight, a power cord, and a handful of pocket-sized notebooks with a fountain pen. The sheer amount of organization pockets make the Air Sling 3 endlessly reconfigurable, and truth be told, we had even a little extra room to spare for a few more pieces of EDC if your day-to-day -day necessitates a decent amount of carry. Like the rest of the EDC product verticals that we're highlighting, the watch world has plenty of all blacked out options. However, and we sometimes sound like a broken record when saying this time and time again, they are not all created equal. So we're going to highlight a classic, and one of the very best comes from Hamilton, not surprisingly, who offers a very modern take on the classic, mid-century inspired, World War II era khaki field with a PVD coated matte black titanium khaki field that shapes up as one of the best and coolest in the 38mm line. The all-black khaki field titanium auto keeps everything you love about the base 38mm auto. The case size, the 11.6mm thickness, the dial styling, the H10 movement, the 80 hour power reserve, the 100 meters of water resistance, but it wraps it all up in a black matte form. How was the wearing experience? Well, black is slimming, and that's well known in the fashion space, but this applies to watches as well. Something that comes to mind is the wearing experience of the Belova Lunar Pilots, all black special edition. At 45mm, the same as its stainless steel counterpart, it appears to wear smaller despite maintaining the same dimensions on paper. So with the blacked out 38mm khaki field titanium auto, we think the black colorway slightly decreases the wrist presence by about a millimeter or two on the wrist. It's also extremely light, Hamilton doesn't provide an exact weight, but the full titanium bracelet here goes a long way. Under the sapphire, the only elements of the watch that are not rendered in a shade of black are the numerals along the chapter ring, as well as the orange tip seconds that allow for enhanced visibility. Another premium touch is the exhibition case back, allowing for a full view of the H10, with Hamilton's logo punched out and a logo type embossed just beneath on the surface of the rotor, as well as contrasting pearl and snail patterns on the visible surfaces. The titanium bracelet is a 20mm unit and you're even able to choose the exact size and quarter inch increments at the time of purchase for a better fit right out of the box, but if you still need to adjust further, there are a trio of micro adjustments on the clasp to fine tune a fit. Another one of our favorite blackout EDC gear picks is from Matador, and if you're an avid traveler, we'd garnered theft is always on your mind. Safeguarding your EDC is the Matador Beta Lock, a deadbolt style TSA compliant carabiner crafted from 1.9 ounces of aerospace grade aluminum and rendered in an anodized all black matte finish. For about $30, the Beta Lock uses a deadbolt style locking system to keep the spring arm secured when not intended for use. It comes with a set of two TSA compliant 007 keys and takes about half a turn to lock the deadbolt into place. Keep in mind the beta lock is not intended as a bike lock, it's a travel lock, purpose built for keeping your carry protected, but shouldn't be pushed past its limits. Our last blackout EDC gear pit goes to Nipex, whose German made 4 inch Cobra pliers have swept through the EDC space like wildfire the past year, with a form factor smaller than the standard and perfect for utilitarian EDC. Fitting easily in the pocket of a pair of double knee work trousers or a shirt jacket pocket, the all black 4 inch Cobra pliers are a great substitution for those who want the ability to carry a pair of pliers, don't want to be weighed down by a heavy multi tool, and can't manage to carry a full size pair of pliers anywhere on their person. There's a big emphasis here on little. These are 4 inch pliers, and we're holding them in hand here to show you just how small these Cobras are. They're also incredibly thin at 3 eighths of an inch, which also makes them prime for EDC. And the handles use serrated grip points on the exterior to maximize utility, despite their extra small stature. The jaws expand up to 1 inch with 11 steps in between and are able to lock in place, and they're brushed to reveal the metal underneath. These pliers are a tramontized, semantics for phosphating, for rust prevention, and then coated in a matte lacquer giving it the all black color. Okay, well that's a wrap for this blackout EDC gear guide. The space is chock full of great all black EDC, and we only have time for a small sliver of our favorites. For more, head over to our site and check out the expanded list of all our favorites. And as always, let us know below if you have any great all black EDC suggestions.